Hello and welcome to Heat Software short video series. My name is Rene Gonzalez and with me is my colleague Rob Kelso. And today we're going to be covering an introduction to endpoint security. So Rob, when I'm talking to customers, endpoint security seems to be a priority. Could you explain to me what our interpretation of what endpoint security is? Absolutely. So endpoint security can mean a lot of things. Um, if you look back to the problems around USB keys in kind of the, the late uh, late nineties, going into two thousand, um, endpoint security is often termed as port control, um, but also more typically AV, so you know preventing malware and spyware from from impacting systems. Um, if we look at really the core issue that a customer is trying to solve, that they're, they're trying to stop data from being removed from a system or malware and virus attacks from impacting performance of systems or stability of systems. So, yeah, pretty simple problem, but one that's been difficult uh, for the industry to solve. And it's really because most traditional endpoint security solutions take a, a reactive approach. Could you, could you explain what that means, reactive approach? Sure, yeah. So, um, essentially, a list of things that are known bad um, is defined by the AV vendor typically and they're prevented if they're seen on an endpoint. Now of course if I'm an attacker I just come up with a zero day attack, a new signature that behaves slightly differently and that will completely bypass that, that approach and the AV vendor has to continually update that, that list of known bad. Okay. So um, at Heat Software we kind of flip that approach on its head and what can we do proactively to prevent um, things from executing on an endpoint or data from being stolen? Well, a traditional AV solution, if you look at something like avcomparatives.org, it's going to be able to stop about 50% of attacks um, day zero. Um, so even if it's unknown, they have some degree of behavioral checking. But 50% of millions of attacks is a very large number that they're missing. Um, and really, if you look at how those uh, pieces of malware get onto a system, it's actually an underlying vulnerability in the operating system or an application more commonly. So just by patching alone, you could be preventing around 90% of attacks. So you know, very, very impressive stat there. Um, and one that can, can be easy to solve in an organization. So step one in the defense in depth strategy is to really understand what you have. What applications do you have? Are they uh, known good or unwanted? Uh, if you want to, you could just remove um, unwanted applications from systems. So for example, customers may be looking for patching on servers because they've got things like Office and Adobe Reader on servers. Well, let's just remove those applications if they're not required, we'll reduce the attack surface. And then step two, for the applications we want to keep, what versions do we have? What known vulnerabilities exist in those applications? And let's bring them all up to a common level and remediate that capability. So at Heat Software, the solution can actually give you that visibility and the remediation all in one solution. So then really the next step in the, in the layered defense in depth approach is application control or um, also known as application whitelisting. And this really flips the traditional security model on its head. We define what's allowed, anything else is denied by default. So if a new virus comes along, it's not on the whitelist, it can't execute. If a user tries to install some file sharing application, it's not necessarily known bad, but still it's not on the whitelist, it's not going to be allowed to execute. It's a much more effective approach than the tra traditional AV approach. But then also in application control, we can also look at in-memory um, execution. So uh, some of the latest APT style attacks have used more advanced techniques such as reflective memory injections, where they're actually injecting code into an existing process in memory. So the malware never touches the hard drive? Never touches the hard drive, completely evades your traditional AV solution. Whereas with app control, we can monitor that execution in memory, and we can actually spot and terminate those processes when seen. So, um, you know, we've patched our known vulnerabilities, we've locked the system down with application control. The system's very hardened at this point, but still, if I'm a user, I could come along, copy some data to a USB key, I could lose it. Um, somebody might put a, a USB keylogger in between the keyboard and the USB port, and data can still be stolen. So with device control, again, we can use a whitelist-based approach. We can allow customers to define what devices can be connected and what data can be copied to and from those devices by whom, and really start to con you know, continue to lock that endpoint down very tightly. And if a user does need to copy data to a USB key, maybe we'll encrypt the data so that if it is accidentally lost, um, a third party couldn't get access to that data. 
and we can go into these modules in more detail in, in future sessions. Then really to kind of finalize that, um, that defense in depth strategy, we still suggest having AV in that overall solution. Um, some newer application whitelisting vendors may see, say AV is not required. Um, that's not really a professional security approach that we would recommend here at Heat Software. AV still is required. It has a number of, of benefits in the overall defense in depth strategy. Uh, first of all, What's to stop an administrator adding known bad to a whitelist? So that AV can double check, we can make sure that we're not adding known bad into, into a whitelist. But then also removal of a virus. Application whitelisting will prevent execution in memory, but it could still exist on the hard disk. And it may not just be a case of deleting a file, we may need some more advanced technique to remove that malware, and our AV solution can provide that capability also. So at Heat Software we can offer these four key modules in a single security suite, single platform and single agent, fully modular as we'll see in future sessions, at a similar price point to what you may be paying for AV today, but obviously we're providing much greater risk mitigation in a more complete package. Thank you very much, and that concludes today's session, and we look forward into you joining us into future sessions.